All right, welcome back to the shop. So we got another episode of Old School Cool here. And this drill is actually one of the drills that I have previously restored. Uh, I done a bunch of these projects. Uh, I continue to do so. Uh, I got this drill. It was in fairly fairly rough shape. It wasn't anywhere near as, as nice as it looks now. It needed a new cord. The, uh, the drill chuck itself was in really bad shape. I tore this all apart and put new jaws in it and everything else, cleaned it up good, put all new bearings in the entire drill, um, also varnished uh, the inside of it and um, cleaned everything up, the commutator, new brushes, gave it a good, you know, going over. Um, I'm going to see if I have some of those photos and I'll include them in the slideshow at the end of this video. But this is a Milwaukee 250 drill. And this is an early hole shooter. It is not the earliest iteration of the hole shooter. But it is a early version of the hole shooter. Uh, probably one of the more popular versions of the hole shooter. Um, which became a uh, brand for Milwaukee then later. And still is... To an extent, this day, um, their 120 volt stuff has really kind of died off with cordless tools, but you know, that makes sense. But this is a 2000 RPM drill, and it has uh, pinion gear on the motor and one large bull gear. There's no multiple uh, reductions or anything like that on this, it's just two gears. And the uh, spindle shaft here goes right out to the uh, the chuck. Not a reversible drill. It's not reversible at all. There we go. It's a little the name plate's a little goofed up on this one, but not at all reversible. You have your uh, retention button here, so you can send it off in a low Earth orbit and uh, get flagged by the OSHA guy when he shows up on the job site. But a lot of guys would likely not be using this on the job site. So, um, yeah, new cord, all new bearings, everything cleaned up and redone inside. Um, I actually buffed this and clear coated it after the uh, touch up, you know, the, the paint was done on it and everything. Pretty happy with how this one turned out. Uh, it was a nice, fun restoration project. Uh, what we can do is, I guess I'll get out the Vita root and we'll see what it actually runs at, but it does run. <laughs> runs at its two, you know, it says it's 2000 RPM. I didn't actually check to see what it runs at. You can tell it's, it's moving pretty good. Um, being a quarter inch drill chuck, uh, it's kind of an unusual thing for this day and age. Almost everything's half inch. So it's it's a little odd for for people to see. Hey, this thing only goes to to quarter inch, uh, and then there was also at the time there was five sixteenths and three eighths and half inch and five eighths and three quarter, and then it went into Morse taper. So there was a, a variety of uh, drill chucks and everything had its own speed ranges and whatnot. I do have some of that stuff here, and when I get through restorations on them. Maybe we'll do old school cool episodes on them uh, if guys are interested in seeing some of these old tools. Um, but yeah, here's the here's the drill. I'm happy how it turned out. This is one of my earlier restorations, so still on the learning curve. I'd say I'm still on my learning curve, and I've I've done a few now, but there it is. Uh, a 250 hole shooter. Um, the earliest, uh, as far as I know, this is the earliest design w where they tried to become more ergonomic. There was another design prior to this, and uh, maybe we'll do an old school cool on, on. I have one of those. Maybe we'll do an old school cool on one of those too. Uh, but so here, here it is. Uh, give me a minute. We'll get, get out the Vita root and we'll see how fast it spins. 
Alrighty, so I think we have a decent setup here. Um, I'm gonna let the drill run a little bit with the Vita root on it. I'll fast forward the footage while we do that because I think we'll see that these old universal motors they need to warm up. There's some grease in the gear case here and whatnot. Everything needs to become a little fluid. So we should see the RPM increase as the drill runs for a little while. So let's let's see what happens. If I don't block everything with my hand. So there we go. Okay, so here we are. We seem to have leveled out pretty close within 30 RPM of the uh, the rated RPM of 2000 RPM. And this drill has got a little bit warm. We ran it for, I don't know, a few minutes. It's definitely not hot by any means, but it's it's a little warm. Um, yeah, that's friction in the gear case and what have you. But uh, there we go, 1970 RPM. So, the old drill still runs good. Like I said, it's on all new bearings and everything, so it's, it's, it's doing pretty close to its rated RPM, which is no load. Um, I do believe this one has a load RPM of, looks like 1250. It's hard to read on the, on the uh, nameplate. I'll put a picture of the nameplate up. In fact, it'll probably be the thumbnail for the video here. So, there we go. A little playing around with an old drill. Thought I'd share. And uh, I think we'll keep moving through some of these older tools that I have around that I've restored if guys are interested. Alright, thanks for watching.